You've seen uh, the Celebrite extraction from John O'Keefe's phone, which Mr. Lally showed you the other day, correct? Correct. And you went through the series of phone calls that were made and that appear on his extraction report, correct? Correct. I just want to run through those time-wise very quickly just to orient you, if I can, and then I'll ask you some specific questions about it. There was a call at 12.14 a.m., correct? Correct. That was a call that you indicated was answered. You had a conversation with Mr. O'Keefe. Correct. There was a call at 12.18 and 47 seconds. That call also was answered by you. John O'Keefe made that phone call, correct? Correct. Then there's the 12.29 and 44 second call that you indicated was not answered. Correct. And that was a call to you, fr sorry, from you to him. Correct. There was a 12.41 call from you to, to John O'Keefe, correct? That was? Correct. There was a 12.41 and 54 second call from you to him, is that right? Correct. There was a 12.43 and 19 second call from you to him. Correct. 12.46 a.m. and 16 seconds from you to him. Correct. 12.47 and 52 seconds from you to him. Correct. And 12.50 and 37 seconds from you to him, correct? Correct. <clears throat> you saw in his extraction report that all of those calls after 12.18 were missed calls, correct? In the, his report that you showed me? Correct. In other words, the only two calls that were answered were the 12.14 and 12.18. Everything else was a missed call. I believe so. I would have to refer to it again because I've seen so many reports. And Ms. McCabe, according to the extraction reports that you've seen this morning, comparing yours to his, every single one of those calls was deleted off your phone. Correct? According to the reports. According to that report, yes. Let me ask you another question. <clears throat> Have you ever misplaced your phone? Yes. In, in, in life. Everybody does it, right? Yes. What's one of the first things you do if you're with your daughter or your husband or your, a friend and you're in your house and you misplace your phone? What do you do? I'll, I'll ask them to call my phone. Even over and over and over, right? Correct. Could be as many as five, six, seven times. Usually I hear it the first or second time. You're looking for a buzz or a ring, isn't that right? Correct. And you might do that if you're searching for a missing phone, correct? Correct. With regard to the calls that were deleted from your phone, you were asked about this under oath at another proceeding, weren't you? Correct. And you claimed at another proceeding that you had an explanation for all these missed calls starting at 1229, 1241, 1241, 1243, 1246, 1247, 1250. You have an explanation for that, right? Can I see the report? I'm asking you about your prior testimony. And I'm asking about these calls. Yes, I'm asking, can I see it, please? I'm asking you a different question. At, your other, at this other proceeding, which mm -hmm. you were under oath, yes. right? you explained that these calls were what? These missed calls, incessant missed calls. What were they? You used a word. I have like two words. I believe I used the word butt dials. You claimed that every one of these calls was a butt dial. Is that right? Yes. So according to you, you literally butt dialed John O'Keefe's phone six times in the span of 19 minutes. Is that right? I don't remember making any of those calls. So my assumption is I put my phone in my back pocket and that was it. <laughs> when you dial someone by mistake, you hit a button, Set your phone down. The phone has to be open. You'll agree with that, right? Correct. It can't be locked. Because it takes several iterations of movement to get a phone open. Face ID or password, right? Correct. So when you hit the button, by mistake, walk away. That's a butt dial. 
people call butt dials. What happens with the call? I assume it goes to voicemail. It's a good assumption, because that's exactly what it does, isn't it? You've had a phone for a lot, a lot of years, right? Yes. It rings and rings and rings until it goes to voicemail. Correct. So in order to hang up that butt dial, you have to interact with that phone yet again, don't you? Yes. So if you had six butt dials, <coughs> seven, I think it's seven butt dials, you'd not only have to interact with the phone once to butt dial, John, you'd then have to interact with it every single time to turn off that phone ringer so it doesn't go to voicemail, wouldn't you? I suppose. Which makes 14 interfaces with that phone over the course of 19 minutes. Is that right? I mean, I guess I don't have it all right in front of me, but there were also text messages I was sending. So again, maybe I said, oh shoot, I called them and then I turned it off. But your claim is you don't remember those incessant butt dials and those incessant hangups at all, correct? I, I honestly don't. So you would have had to forget that you interacted with, by, by the way, you'll agree that the phone extraction showed that John O'Keefe got no voice notes from you, right? I didn't look, but. So that means you would have had to interact with that phone 14 times over the course of 19 minutes at the exact time frame that the Commonwealth suggests John O'Keefe lost his life. 